Okay guys, this is the road in to Shasta. This is the highway going into Shasta. This is the highway 199. This is the off ramp to Shasta. And we're gonna make a left here. And we're gonna go under the underpass. This is just outside of Reading. So after you go under 199, it's your first right. There's really nothing else around this place but the school. And they have a very large fire academy, which is a huge part of it. So we're going to turn into Shasta. There's the Shasta sign. The college is a big loop. Well, a little loop. We're going to take a left here. So we take a left. The first building you see on your right, that big building, that is the student learning center. That's where they go for their uh, tutoring. And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's the newest building on campus. They'll all be like that soon since they got their bond. The building you see off to your right, uh, I can't see it yet. I see. Those are classrooms that you can see just in front of the car. <clears throat> Those are classrooms. That building to the right behind the trees, that's the admissions building. That's where you go to get all your classes. And then uh, this is all just parking. There's no school to the left, it's all to the right. So we'll stop up here. We'll carry on. So that's uh, still the admissions building, that's still the classrooms. On the back side of these classrooms is <clears throat> the cafeteria as well. They'll have two sides cafeteria. One is just cafeteria and the other one makes a meal specific like Italian or Chinese every day. So off to your left, off to your right, that's the gymnasium and the athletic building. Off to your left, what you see first, that's the women's dorms right there. And this is the common area. I'll have a video of both of those later on. And then behind those trees right there, that's the boys' dorms. We didn't go inside of them. I'm sure they stink. So we're going to turn here. <clears throat> Off to your right, that is the cafeteria. It's a double-sided deal. Um, that right in front of the car cafeteria and that's just a sitting area with shade that right there is the gymnasium that's getting air conditioning put in it they've never had air conditioning now they do and that building to the right that's the athletics wing and then we're gonna take a left and head down to their football and baseball fields their baseball fields are freaking back in the trees you can't even get to it we had to go through a gate a lot gate baseball coach took us back there. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful baseball field. So this is all just a park area. And then I'm going to take a right. And as we head down here, what you see ahead of us is that green stuff. That's all basketball courts, outdoor basketball courts, and tennis courts. There's the ticket booth for the football field. And we just passed the baseball field entrance. And this fence to our left, this is all football stadium. That's the restrooms concession stand right there. And then you can see the home stands on the left with the press box. It's a grass field, but it's nice. It's a nice field, it's just dead because it's Bermuda grass. And then there's the visitor stands right there. And then you can kind of see the soccer field stands to my left as well. And that's the soccer field stands. And they have a practice facility, football practice facility up here to the left. <coughs> also, there's their charter buses. Nice new charter buses that they travel with everywhere they go. They take those big buses, got Wi Fi and television. And then to the right, that's the athletic department. Um, right there, 
is the athletic department and the swimming pool. They have an Olympic sized swimming pool. It sets down in the ground about 15 feet, but it's freaking nice. And right there to the right is their ag building. To the left, that's part of the fire academy. Fire academy is huge out here, man. They Half the campus is fire academy. Great big program. And then we're coming up on the left is um, that's their farm where they grow the crops. And to the right is more of their ag building mechanical area. Keep their tractor stuff like that. <clears throat> but uh, coming up behind those trees, that's that's all campus, but it's the, their farm. You can see the entrance to their cattle area, fenced off. Beautiful back there, man. Just to the right, we're still looking at um, ag building, ag building. And then coming up on your right is parking and solar panels. All these campuses in California have solar panels coming out the freaking ass. But that's pretty cool. This is their training room. This is uh, where the students hang out, so they say, so they tell me. <clears throat> this is their trainer. He's off to the left. Right there. And then back there is our training area. There's Coach Cavalli and Gentry. And then here is their <clears throat> weight room, which is actually pretty good size it's as big as yeah it's pretty good size not gonna lie so it's all new pretty freaking nice we do do some free stuff with the dumbbells um there's a dumbbell weight room right there that's their weight room like you said during the season we're in here each each position group uh or each group would be in here for two days a week during the season um during the off season you'd be in here every day in your routine um, Let's go into the hallway of their athletic. There's their basketball team. They're playing in a tournament while we're there. And then you come out. That fence is the pool area. And that's looking at the gymnasium and some of the that's a baseball coach's office right there. And that's their feet. I think I was probably recording it around right now. So we're going to go. This is their gymnasium. This is um, halftime. This is their gym, pretty nice. Again, air conditioning. And this, <coughs> he's just walking from the basketball court over to, we're going over to look at the dorms. So, say off to the left is a cafeteria. But shit, there's trees everywhere. It's pretty crazy. Lots of shade. And, Everybody else works another job off campus, so for me, still walking, um, still I work walking. Monday through Friday, and I work. Okay, here is we're in the women's dorms. This is the stairwell. It's just got two wings. These put the athletes all in one wing. You had 38 athletes and football players basically in that wing, and uh, they're gonna guys open the door to one of the dorms for us. Jeffrey says, "I'm not staying no damn dorm." That's the door that goes into the commons area. There's also a study area up those star stairs, up right right above where I'm standing. So here we are. We're going to go into a dorm. So you get two people in a dorm. You get bunk beds, and you each get a desk. And there's a closet behind the doors. And uh, I was just talking about how you move that. They usually move shit around, and give them more room. And there's a fee that you can. So that's kind of that's the dorm. Room, but you can get that moved down. There's just a fee that's a dorm area. Do that. um, I don't know why. Probably just Coach Kamali give us the, over here the run now and take it apart and put it together. So you something so, fun they do to themselves. So. Yeah, you can. You can. You just don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> but they have these, the closets and everything. So. So is there usually three in a dorm? Two. Two in a dorm. Two. One there. One there. Oh, so that's a desk there also, huh? Yep. Interesting. Everybody gets along, I hope, right? Yeah, not too many problems over here. No, going pretty good. This is 
the common area. This is just their couches, places to relax, chill. It's got a big screen TV here. And this is the hallway. That's computers, free computers, free printing, mailboxes. And this is their kitchen, common area. Ping pong, two pool tables. Behind that window glass right there is a volleyball court. And then just tables for dinner, counter, fridge, everything you need. You check out pots and pans and return them when you clean them. Microwaves, another television. So that's college.